welcome to episode 27. Today we're going to be talking about Amber Control in Age of Ascension and how it feels compared to Call of Archons. And we actually just played in a tournament yesterday mm -hmm. where we each got a sealed deck of Call of Archons and Age of Ascension. And I think for the most part, we all picked our Call of the Archons deck. Everyone picked Call of Archons. Yeah. I played against one guy that had the Age of Ascension deck, but oh, really? yeah, and his deck is pretty good. Anyway, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but it got us to thinking, Age of Ascension feels different. It's not worse, it just feels different. So we want to talk about some of the actual numbers behind it. And I'll caveat all that with, we might not have everything completely accurate because some things are in like gray areas, but at least gives us an idea for what to talk about. Um, but before we go into that, let's talk about our card of the week. I'm going to kick it off with... A card that I'm actually pretty excited about. It's um, an upgraded charrette in my mind. It's a Sanctum creature with four power, one armor called Albade the Grim. You play it, you capture three, and then when you reap, you can discard one amber from Albade the Grim. So if you think about it, you're actually just reaping and taking one of the amber off of him, mm -hmm. is what it nets down to. And um, I was looking at a deck the other day that had three of these in there. <laughs> And I was super excited. I didn't have this deck. This was a deck that was being sold on eBay. And I am I keep debating, like, trying to go out and get in a deck with uh, three or four of him. And I think he's just so good and not easily killed. And just, I don't know, the ability to be able to get rid of Amber from him, along with Equalize, to be able to put Amber back on him, just seems like a lot of fun to me. Do you guys like that guy? I really do. Yeah, especially with my... Um... Sanctum decks. I have them like every single Sanctum deck, I believe. It's really fun to capture their Amber and then make them lose their Amber or they can't get it back. I keep playing against people that have more than one in their deck, and I never get more <laughs> than one in my deck. So Me too. But you usually I, get two. I've never even got two in a deck yet. I didn't either. I've only gotten one. Mm. Yeah. That's crazy. But like I said, I saw one on eBay the other day. They had three, and it was really interesting to me. I'm like, man, that seems so good. Plus, the other houses were good, too. All right, so who wants to go next for card of the week? I'll go next. All right. My card is also a Sanctum card. My card is uh, called Prince Derek Unifer, I think is how you pronounce it. I think it, it might even be Unifier, but Unifier. I'm not completely sure. It's a four-power, one-armor creature. It's a human knight. And when you play it, gain three amber if you control three creatures from three different houses. If you control creatures from three different houses. Yes. Yes. I mean, any number of creatures. What do you think? Um, have you got him to work before? I got him to work every single time I played him so far. Really? Yeah. Uh, I really love that card. Uh, I have... I suppose if you have a deck with a ton of creatures in it. And most of my creatures have elusive in it. So they're really hard to kill. So then when I get Prince Eric in my hand, I usually have uh, That's crazy. all three houses on the board. Have you played with that card before? I have not. That's awesome. I've definitely played with them before. I just haven't got him to actually work. The card seems powerful, though. <laughs> yeah, and the card that you're going to talk about is similar. It's funny we all picked Sanctum guys today. <laughs> I just see it looking at your card now. All right, Andrew, what's your card of the week? I don't know how to pronounce this name. How would you so we're going to do Jehu the Bureaucrat. And it's after you choose Sanctum as your active health gain to, and it's a human creature. With three power and no armor. Yeah. I it, kind of like him. He's really fun. Yeah, he he got a deck. He opened a deck yesterday at the tournament that had 93 sass. Mm -hmm. And it just so many creatures, and I needed a board wipe sooner. It has plus 17 synergy. It was insane, and <laughs> he was able to get so many Sanctum guys out. I started using my Rock Curling Giant to just pick off all the creatures that needed to be taken care of, but he didn't let me have creatures very long. And uh, he ended mm. up using this guy at least once, but maybe even twice. I used him right? twice. I used the... To gain a ton of amber. I used the Phase Shift to play this guy, and then Logo's turn, so that I can call Sanctum and gain the two amber and play it. Yeah, it, I'm pretty sure he got it twice on him because I literally had nothing to deal with it when it, <laughs> it it was bad. It was interesting. I almost went through my deck twice. Yeah, yeah he <laughs> he had that card that um lets you show Mars cricket cards and then reveal draw, Mars battleship, battleship, battle fleet or something. Like I that. drew like probably in all like twenty cards from that one, card. and he had library access. Mm -hmm. Um, and my deck, 
got beat. That was the only match I lost. I won my other two, so I finished second in the tournament. But then from there, you had like a losing streak you went on, which is crazy. Yeah. You ended up going like one and two, one. right? Mm -hmm. One and two. And I think all your games were close, right? I don't know. I feel like you destroyed me, so I don't know if that one was close. <laughs> and then Adam actually won the tournament. He went three and oh. Yeah. You were able to defeat Andrew. Your deck seemed pretty good, too. And then what'd you get for winning? I got Metal Keys again and a free deck. Second setting Metal Keys. Yep. I also got a free deck, which was awesome. And it was a 94 SAS deck, which I'm super excited about trying. And it's AOA. Yeah, it's Age of Ascension. And I don't know if it's that great, but it's got three Nerve Blasts in there and too much to protect. So, I mean, I feel like there's... I haven't played it yet. There's potential. There's a lot of potential there. So I'm excited about that. And those are our first to 90 SAS decks, right? Yeah. Ever opened. Yeah. And we got one for Archon and Age of Ascension. That is so awesome. Yeah, we've never opened... And we've opened a lot of decks. <laughs> we've opened... I mean, I have, six, now. I have 60 some registered in my app, and you have 49. 49, and you like probably 30. have 40 or 50 in yours. I have like 30 or something. 30 or 40 in yours. So, I mean, we're, we've definitely opened well over 100 decks. And for us to open two above 90s in a day is pretty good. That's really rare. I have noticed that the ratings have changed a bit because... Um, they did. They updated they did. again. Which is good. I'm glad they're updating it. Because some of my decks actually have gone up. My, a lot of my, my deck that up. I felt like was the best one went from an 86 to an 88 now. And my I had some that were in the high 70s that are now in the low 80s, which is pretty cool to see. Um... So keep at, keep checking your decks of Keyforge rating, your SAS rating. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's amazing like, how SAS has kind of taken over the market, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. All right. So our main topic today. I don't know about you guys, but when I open an Age of Ascension deck, when I see a decent amount of Amber Control, I'm really excited about it because I don't feel like it's very common in this set. It you guys a, agree? Or? I, I totally agree with you. It feels different. Yeah. I feel like only Shadow and and Sanctum could really control. Sanctum's a lot stronger, I feel, this set. It is, yeah. And Mars, too. Mars, Mars is definitely a lot stronger. Hypnotic Command is a good addition to Mars. Yeah. You made some good use out of it. Oh, actually, they played in two tournaments this week. We did. Yeah, you played a tournament Saturday and you played a tournament Sunday. We had to drive an hour for this tournament on Sunday. Yeah. Saturday, you got to play in the championship match and ended up losing in a nail biter of a match. It was my asthma. That was the only card. Yeah, so my asthma kept him from Forge, and he had plenty of amber, and he had no way to stop his opponent. I, and it was streamed on Twitch too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. You ended up going two and one, right? Yeah. And you went two and one at the end. But yeah, Andrew was undefeated against another guy who was undefeated, and you guys got to play the championship match on Twitch. I thought I was in the lead the whole time. It would have been awesome if you'd have won that and got a set of keys, and you would have got a set of keys. That yeah, would have been so cool. That would have been epic. I still can't believe every time. Every time you win, I'm second place. I wanted to play against you. If only <laughs> Andrew wouldn't have beat me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about Brabnar. Do you guys feel like Brabnar is? Let's just first talk about. You feel like Brabnar is stronger in Age of Ascension, or weaker in Age of Ascension, or the same? I think stronger. Stronger. I think about the same, about the in same. my opinion. I didn't really notice that many changes, probably because I don't have really any Brownlar decks. I feel like Brownlar is stronger as well, too. I feel like there's bigger, like the Drummer Knot combo seems like. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's other deal. combos with like that Flex card. The with, Flex with and the Law of the Giant. Mm -hmm. Game 5 Amber. And Drummer Knot combo. Or, uh, Might Makes Right is pretty War good. War Grumpus. War Grumpus and the Tamer, I love them. Uh, Might makes right where it lets you forge a key just by sacrificing guys. I think is incredible because you can get your last key for no amber, basically. I, mean, I think that's better in this set than it's definitely Col better, especially Colbert with Lala of the Giant. Like he just he makes half of that almost, you know, like eleven out of twenty five of the power needed, which is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. All right, so just looking at the numbers here, um, Robner doesn't have much for. Stealing, capture, or delaying keys. Well, loss, they'd probably have a lot. Uh, they do have a decent number of loss. From the numbers that we could pull, it looks like Caller Archon has about six cards that affect your, make your opponent lose Amber. How many do you think, do you feel like 
Age of Ascension, Andrew, has more or less than that? I think less, because they pretty much got rid of all cards. Pretty much a lot of cards that, like, can steal, lose. Like, that's what I think. So it feels like, yeah, it's definitely less by a little bit. So, from, again, we could be off in our counts, but the boys went through and kind of got the numbers they could. So it looks like in Call of Archon, there were six cards that, in some way or another, had your opponent lose Amber. <clears throat> in Age of Ascension, there's four. The one thing to note is like the stealing, the capture, and the key delay, which would key cost. So that means to like make your opponent keys cost more. It's pretty pretty similar. So I'd say like overall, like the amount of amber control between Call of Archon and Age of Ascension, not changed too much. But in Brabnar, do you guys kind of feel that same way? I do. Yeah. The card I miss the most is that grenade. Or what is that guy called? Was it Grenade Snib? I could have the name wrong, but it's that little two-power creature that makes your opponent lose two amber. Yeah. Oof. Okay, I miss him Good in the card. new set. Okay, in in this, there's some interesting stuff. So, this is not known too much for stealing. But for capturing, like, the charrette is a good one. And they're pretty similar. So, the uh, Call of Archon has three capture cards that we've been able to identify. Uh, Age of Ascension has two. We have one big difference, though, is Age of Ascension has three cards that delay keys from being forged. So these are the imps, right? Yeah. Gold imp, silver imp, bronze, bronze imp. imp. Also the lash. Lash of Broken Dreams increases oh, key, key, key cost. Yeah. So um, that is one card that carried over. But in the, do you, how many cards do you think in Carl of Archon delayed your opponent from forging keys? So that would mean, like, you can't forge a key or um, you skip your turn to forge a key. I like five or six. There was none in Call of Archon. Really? So, yeah. Except so, for um, for Shadow, though, there's one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're talking about this right now. Sorry if I wasn't clear about that. So the, the imps have added, like, a new dynamic, which, by the way, playing against them is really weird. It is pretty weird. Because you, no one wants to kill them. Like, I have been against an imp, and it's like, well, if I kill it, you get your second key before me. And then if I don't kill it, you're never going to kill it. So what are we going to do? Just play here forever? <laughs> it's a tough... I don't know how I feel about them. Uh, but anyway, so going over to Logos. Again, Logos, same number of steel, same number of captures, same number of key cost. The only difference is that in Call of Archons, there was a way to make your opponent lose Amber with one card. And in Age of Ascension, there isn't. So you do not look at Logos for Amber Control in either set. Do you guys agree with that? Like, it, Logos yeah, is not? Yeah, for sure. Just for drawing cards. All right, so we all agree, like, I think Mars is stronger in Age of Ascension overall. Of course. Yes. And I think it's because their creatures do so many, like, have things. so many interactions between them, right? And then, but um, when it comes to capturing... In Call of Archons, Mars had a significant number. They had four. In Age of Ascension, they had one. And for stealing, and this is a very, like, where um, Mind Warper allows you to, like, capture one from your it, opponent's own side. I count that as stealing, though. Yeah, because it's delayed stealing, right? Yeah. So we did put that in the stealing category. But that's the only stealing card that we found in Mars. Uh I don't know. Does that surprise you guys? Does it feel like Mars has less amber control this set? I feel like it has more amber control. Yeah, Command was in Call of Archon, too. So, um, both of those things could be... I don't think it was, was it? I never it was. was. Really? Yeah. So that'll be two. I, I still feel like AOA for capture has more amber control for Mars than Call of Archon, in and my it, opinion. It might just uh, be because... This good Mars deck we have. We finally have Mars decks that we can play that are fun. And I do love Mars in this new set. I know you always look for Mars. Yeah. Which is awesome. So this is one that I think Sanctum. Do you guys feel like Sanctum is stronger in Age of Ascension? For yeah, Amber much Control? stronger. Yeah. Much stronger. So, I mean, we still get... Uh, we still got some crazy awesome capture cards. Alright, so in Sanctum... We have two cards in Age of Ascension that make your opponent lose Amber in some way. The um, 
the key cost, we can have one that makes your opponent's key cost more in Age of Ascension. We have eight in Age of Ascension that capture Amber in some way, nine in Call of Icon. So pretty similar. You're not going to notice that much difference there. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to remember what card this is, but we have one in Age of Ascension marked as a steel card. Uh, the one card called Mother, move an Amber off one of your guys to your pool. Is it called Mother? It's Mother something. Okay. But I added it as a steal because... So it's kind of like a delayed possible steal. So you yeah. need to be able to capture it. Oh. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, which Sanctum didn't have stuff like that in the past, set, right? They didn't. No. All right. So then move into Shadows. Do you guys feel like Shadows is weaker or stronger in in um, Amber Control? I, I think Shadow is a little bit weaker. I also have to agree. I mean, I think it's weaker because one of my favorite cards are gone now. Which but is? Mag of the Rat. Oh, yeah. Mag I love that card. It did work pretty well. Rainy uh, Switch was nerfed, too. Also. And that doesn't even exist in the new set. That's... I hear some like weird noises. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's some weird noises in the background. Yeah. Um, so, Shadows has 14 steel cards. That is a lot. Well, in Age of Ascension. That is a lot. Yeah, it is. A lot. Shadows and Call of Icon Icon has 15. So we got alarms going off everywhere, all over the place here. Sorry about that, guys. So Shadows and Age of Ascension has 14 uh, steel cards, which is seems like a high number. Compared, compared to, all, to all the other houses, yeah. It is significantly higher. Mm -hmm. So we do know that the consensus with um, stealing and Shadows is... It's just what it does, right? Mm -hmm. And it has 15 in Call of Archives. And again, like some of these are gray. So we're, I mean, the numbers could go up one or two. Um, Shadows doesn't have many capture cards. We've tagged one in Age of Ascension and a couple in Call of Archives, which my favorite, one of my old favorites was old Bruno. And he's not around in the new set. Um, key cost, there's a couple in Age of Ascension. So that'll increase your opponent's key. I'm trying to think what they are, and I can't think of what they are. Off There's hand. a list. So we have some like uh, paperwork here that we might be able to look up. I forgot what the card is also. But anyway, in Call of Archon, there is apparently one of those. Uh, so, Key of Darkness. Um, and then Night Forge. So both of those allow you to forge your own key. So those are kind of like, I'd say, borderline key cost ones in my mind. Because they're like... Um, they allow you to forge your own your key. And then for delay, there's one delay in Call of Archon. And then uh, I guess there'd be Miasma would probably be that one delay. Yeah. yeah. Right? And Miasma also existed in a new set, so it would be the same there too. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the stealing in general, you know, thinking about the individual cards feels weaker. And I'm thinking, I don't know why, because like if you look at Ronnie... It's better than Urchin. It's better than Urchin. Too much to protect is still around. Routine jobs are still around. Uh, what is it that makes Shadows feel slightly weaker? Is it because everything else is so much better? Because everything or else is like Steel 1 or Steel 2. I mean, I, I guess we played most of our Shadows with Bait and Switch back when you could steal that a ton. That is true. Do you steal a ton? I do miss Ghostly Hand as well. But I think you're right. I think it has to do something with the other houses being better also. Because some of the houses make it where you can't even steal from them. Sanctum. Like Sanctum yes. with the Vault Keeper. That card stopped me. And that was like, in the first set too. That was. But it seems to be a little more common now. It does. Because I've been playing against decks with it. In the first set I barely played. Which... I don't think I've ever seen it in the first set. In person. And it might be because people just didn't play Sanctum in the first set. Because it wasn't strong enough. I don't know. But I, I think Shadows is still the house you go to for Amber Control more than anything. Like, the numbers are very clear. Every other house is pretty minimal. Close. Yeah, pretty minimal on Amber Control. But there's a little bit of every... Every house has a little bit of it. Um, like, for example, on Brabnar, Groke is, like, one of my favorite Amber Control. But again, you can't play it and affect the board right away. You have to, like... I mean, unless you have a Ganger Chieftain... Yeah, there are, I guess, if you have a way to make him 
ready. And That's fight. a good point. And there are there are like ready and fight with this creature and there are things like that. Um, yeah, and I haven't put a finger on it, but to me, Shadows feels weaker in this set. And yet, the numbers kind of line up with the previous set. But I think the amount of steel and the power of the steel is just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I'd like to dig into that some more. Okay, so Untamed has way less steel than in the first set. Has no capture from what we found. Has nothing that increases your opponent key costs. Nothing that makes your opponent lose Amber. And only has, I think, Heart of the Forest to delay, potentially delay you and your opponent for forging keys. Yeah. Um, and where in Call of Archons, it had several cards that could steal, and it had one card that could actually do mess with key cost, which was Mermook, if I remember right. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So, Untamed is not a house you want to see if you want Amber Control, because there are just not Amber Control cards in it. There's very, very little. And actually, let me look at the, um, I'm curious to see. Yeah, and even the steel for Life Web is very conditional. It's very hard to pull off. It's very hard to pull off. Uh, so, if you think about the houses that you want, if you're looking for a deck to to like be able to control your opponent's Amber, it seems like the only houses you can go with are Shadow and Sanctum, and then maybe followed by Dis, because Dis would be maybe the third most. So, like a Shadows, Sanctum, Dis deck... That's your only chance at really getting Amber Control in this set. Whereas, like, I felt in Call of Archons, um, you could... I felt always pretty decent when I got, like, a Logos deck, or I... Because I felt Mars like I had... Deck. Yeah, Mars. But kind of, but not really. Uh, but I really wanted Shadow, Dis, and Mars. Or Shadow, Dis, and um, Logos. Logos, rather. So I see a lot of people open in decks of... Age of Ascension, and, and they'll look through the cards and be like, oh, I got no Amber Control. fact of the matter is, in this, in general, there's just not a lot of Amber Control in other houses other than, like, Shadows and this yeah. and Sanctum. Sanctum is actually the second most Amber control -y house right now, which is kind of weird if you count Capture as Amber Control, which I do. I do, too. And it's and kind of really awesome, in my opinion. I love how big creatures can do Amber Control. Me too. It makes it really different. Like, makes it a really different gameplay experience. And I've seen boards where there are just tons of creatures spread out with tons, with of, tons amber of amber on, on it. And it's like I need a board wipe. <laughs> a sort of like uh, I saw with our game at the tournament yesterday where it w it ended that way too, where there was just tons of amber captured. And you think about all that amber that was earned and then taken <laughs> away it makes a big difference. And all bathe the grim makes it adds to that quite significantly um so finally i think overall i guess my impressions you know looking at the numbers is i felt like age of ascension in general was significantly less than brobnar brobnar cheese than call of archons yeah. and uh i feel like i was wrong i feel like the numbers kind of kept it pretty similar between each set do you guys were you guys surprised by the numbers well they're all lower i was very but... surprised for Sanctum and Mars and all those. Mars like, should have felt like it should have been higher. You think? Yeah. yeah. And maybe we missed some uh, when we went through there. But I agree. Like, Mars feels... But I feel like they have... Like, I feel like Hypnotic Command just works really well. And I never played that in the first set. So, if it was in the first set, maybe there's some good Hypnotic Command decks that we just never ran into. Um. Then, let's see, what other... We're, I miss Grabber Jammer. Grabber Chamber was like one of my favorite cards in Mars in the previous I set. I miss Battlefleet. Battlefleet was good. Battlefleet lets you draw just so many cards. But there is that other card that where you pay Amber and you draw two cards. And you gain Amber mm -hmm. for playing it too. Yeah, so you're guaranteed to draw two cards. I've seen people draw a ridiculous number of cards and then be able to use key abduction to just like... That would be a great deck. Yeah, there are some pretty cool combos with that. Because you don't even need the Amber, because you just draw all your cards in the key abduction for free, basically. If you can have enough have enough more. cards. To do and that. if they have Nepenthe Seed, they can just bring back key abduction, because it's Omni, right? Yeah. And then bring it back and play it again and get another key. Is, have you guys seen, is Nepenthe Seed in the new set? It is. It I, is in the... Is it for sure? Well, mm -hmm. 
I don't know if it is. I mean, it's in this AOA deck I got. Can I see this one? Yeah. This is the one? Um, it's the deck I battled. With. Sure enough. Yep, so I guess I just haven't ran into a deck with it yet. Is this the one that we're playing right now in our uh, box challenge? Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that's got... That, that we need to be... Two, five board wipes. Um, I was just saying, we're doing an Age of Ascension battle where we bought a box of decks. Each of us open a pack. We play against each other. The winning deck moves on. The loser steps out. The third person steps in and battles with their deck. And we just keep opening packs until there's only one deck remaining. Yep. Right now, Andrew's got a deck that's 2-0. and o. Um, I had my first deck I won and then lost. You're 0-1 right now, right? You, yeah, I didn't win at all yet. Yeah, and you only played one match. and you got. Just, I played two matches, I think. I think you only did one because, because I think we're only... You two I lost the first match, and then you won then, against Andrew. And I'm out. Or no, Andrew won against you, and then I fought Andrew, and then I lost Oh, yet. so I'm th two, okay. yeah, 2 0 Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm going into my second you're match. You're going yeah. into it, yeah. yeah. So you're 0-2. You're oh yep. Yep, and I have, I won one, didn't I? You did. Yeah, okay. against exactly. me, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm very confused with the standings there right now. It's apparently... <laughs> I, got, I got it all laid out. <laughs> okay. Because <Don't worry. laughs> I, I thought I won one and lost one. You did. Uh, so I'm going into my third match then. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, yeah. Because, okay. Yeah. My deck Fourth is, round, my deck is just nasty because I'm the Pentheus seed. And then I have the Sting, so then I can, and then I have um, Key Charge, so Sting, I gain 6 Amber, then I can Key Charge, get a Key, then the Pentheusy to get back Key Charge, and neck the next turn. And what get was another funny key. is the last deck I played against that one, I kept giving him chains, and he kept giving himself chains, so the entire game he had chains on him. <laughs> at one point he had 6 chains, and... And I could never he was get him drawn four cards too because I had um, uh, succubus. succubus out too, uh -huh. which was really fun because I had a uh, um, a legacy succubus I think it was. He did, yeah. Which is kind of funny to be able to make him draw less, and then I also had that guy streak to make him lose. Uh -huh. Like, so yeah, he was drawing. And yesterday in the tournament, I had played a call Archon's deck, and I had. The guy had given himself chains, and I had two succubuses out, so he was like just getting destroyed for cards, like not being able to draw them. Still a very close game, man. Uh, it's been a crazy week at Keyforge for for us. We've played a ton of games, have a ton more lined up to play. You guys got to play two tournaments. I got to play in one, and we almost won both of them. Andrew was like one turn away from being able to win that one. You got your second set of metal keys now. Which I'm super jealous of. One day I'll get metal keys. <laughs> One day. One day. Um, is there anything else you guys want to talk about for before we call it a week? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it too. And I just say like I'd love to see everybody else's opinions on Age of Ascension Amber Control and how you think Age of Ascension stacks up against Call of the Archons because we're still exploring that quite a bit. And it, I think our comfort level with Call of the Archons is a lot more. But I'm really finding Age of Ascension decks that are just so much fun to play. They are. Like, I have one where I can just archive so many cards and just play so much. I just love that deck so much. And I don't know if it's that great because the Amber Control is very minimal in it. But at the same time, like, I just love playing it. Yeah. Any other closing thoughts from you, Andrew? Um, we're going to be... Up adding more videos this week because um with our battling and yeah hopefully we can get those edited and uploaded soon and we got a lot more battles to do to, to eliminate all 12 decks if Andrew wins the entire thing he'll never be able to open another deck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at least we should, get extra decks the winner the winning deck should get something we'll give you one of our losing decks <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna beat you this next round, so it'll be. Okay. You you can think that. I but think I, I can beat you. I have great. I have a pretty energies. good chance. I have a great chance. Okay, yeah. I'm not worried. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, keep gaming. Keep gaming, everybody, and be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, guys. Bye.